Hey, what's up guys and gals, Rick Nanji here. Thank you so much for joining me. You are all amazing for your love, your shares, your thumbs up, your, it just, you guys just blow me away. Sometimes I'm at a loss for words for your support. I really appreciate it. We're gonna look at fact sheet number 16-1 and 16-2. We have a lot of new equipment for you, so I wanna get right to it. Let's begin over here with this awesome, awesome forge harvester. Now, if you know the Crone Big X 1100, I believe, and the Crone, I believe it's 550 or five something, um, uh, we've already had the 1100, the 550 is, or the 500 series was pretty much added to 17, which I think is great. It's a little bit less expensive than the Big X. And so that's just gonna be really helpful to be able to get started and do stuff early on in the game for silage. So that's really cool, but we have another one. I believe the Holland FR850 is just another addition to this lovely family. And so yes, this is a forge harvester. Price is 374,000 euros, so it is not cheap by any means. But then it end, but then again, it is a really good piece of equipment. Maintenance is 1,480 euros, so it is expensive to keep. Power is 606 kilowatts. Horsepower is 824 horsepower. So it's pretty cool. It's pretty beefy harvester here. Max speed, we have 40 kilometers an hour. And in miles an hour, that is 24 miles an hour. In terms of fuel capacity, we can have 1,400 liters, which is huge. Crops, you see here, they're a little hard to tell with the icons, but pretty much you'll be able to do corn, you'll be able to do anything that you can munch up and just put in the back of a trailer. So this forge harvester is pretty awesome if you ask me. Now we're gonna take a look at the New Holland 130 FB. Now this is the attachment for the forge harvester. It's called the header. And uh, this is used basically on corn from what I see in that icon. It's $25,000. Maintenance is about 60 a day, not too expensive, but you're basically your harvester slows down a lot when it's in operation. So when you're actually using it, your tractor slows down to four miles an hour, which is eight kilometers an hour. So just be aware of that. It will take a bit of time, but the working width is pretty small as well. It's only about two meters, which is about six feet. So it's not much at all. But then again, it is doing a job. It is doing what you need it to do, just not at a quick pace. So it's good to know. All right, and here you go, guys and gals. We have fact sheet 16-2. Now, this is gonna focus on, of course, the Massey Ferguson 8700 series. Of course, people have been really excited for Massey Ferguson and all that it's gonna bring. This is, of course, a tractor. Price is 249,000 euros. So it is not the cheapest tractor out there, but it's also not the most expensive. It's medium range. Remember and don't forget that you can rent all these pieces of equipment before you buy them if it's too expensive. So you can get right into them right away. I'm gonna to have to get used to doing that. Maintenance is 360 euros a day. Power range, you do have a choice here. It can be anywhere from 221 kilowatts to 294 kilowatts. So you do have a choice there. In terms of horsepower, you have 300 horsepower or 400. So good range as well. Max speed is only 50 kilometers an hour. Only I say because there are faster tractors, but 31 miles an hour is pretty good. Fuel capacity, we have 630 liters. Customizable wheels, which, um, what are your choices there? You have standard, wide, twin wheels, and wheel weights. And of course, you can customize your engine. So pretty good stuff that you can do on this thing. And we're gonna finish here, guys and gals, with the Joskin Drakkar 8600, the Drakkar 8600. Now this is a tipper, I call them trailers, but they actually should be called tippers noob me anyway the price is 59,000 euros for this and maintenance is 35 euros a day which is pretty good pretty affordable for people also your tank capacity again it's in the middle it's it's not the most you can get which is 59,000 or the least which is around eight it's 47,000 it's a good chunk it's a good trailer and of course you see all of the choices there anywhere from sunflowers a wheat barley you have potatoes, you can put beets in there, you can also put sunflowers and silage, all this cool stuff. Thank you so much guys and gals for joining me. I think we're gonna stop here. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't. Go ahead and browse the channel. 
and I will see you guys and gals next time. And don't forget, be hopeful.